morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day it is uh, Thursday morning 8:58, um, and as you can see it's cloudy and it's cold so winter has uh, <laughs> came back yesterday last two days it was 60 degrees and uh, today it's a 20 to 30 degree drop so the real feel is like 32 right now and it's windy and cold so, but yeah, welcome to a new day and welcome back to the channel. It's food pantry day. That's where I'm headed right now. I'll take a little bit of a different way so you can see other parts of our town. That's what I try to do for you. Just uh, show you different parts of our town. So, oh yeah. <laughs> So what I thought I'd do is save these uh, drives to the pantry for story time or things I need to talk about or whatever it may be. So my plan was to talk about Gypsy in today's uh, drive to the pantry. Uh, somebody has asked, a couple of new viewers have asked about Gypsy and my plan was to talk about her uh, for that purpose this time. So Gypsy is a shepherd that we adopted almost two years ago. It's been about a year and a half now. And uh, she was like five or six months when we adopted her. She's just beautiful. And she's got like the cutest personality. But I'm sure every dog owner thinks that of their dogs. <laughs> but she is just the most loving dog. I mean, all of our dogs have been loving, but this is the first dog we've had in many, many years since we lost our our precious Yukon, who was a Siberian Husky. Uh, we lost him years ago, and we never got another dog because we uh, rescued cats at that time. At that time, <laughs> and we didn't know how they would react to a dog. So, I think uh, I'll save the cat story for next week, <laughs> or on the way back. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we never got another dog, and that's something we were missing in our lives. And it just seemed like there was a, a void in our lives, not having that dog. So, 
two summers ago, a uh, year and a half ago, it was August, and Glenn just up and said, we're getting a dog. <laughs> I guess he had thought about it long enough, and uh, and I was fine with it. I'm all, we love animals, and he said, yeah, it's time, we're getting a dog. So we decided to look on a German Shepherd rescue site, went through uh, some, you know, the whole process of questions and phone calls and applications, and visiting with dogs, and we, we had our eye on a German Shepherd, his name was Ruger, and we were supposed to go visit with him at a adoption um, clinic that was happening at a fairgrounds. So we went and to our disappointment, Ruger was beautiful and uh, he was absolutely beautiful, but he was absolutely aggressive. Uh, those are, they left some stuff out in telling us about that. So we were quite disappointed in that and in them for not revealing those facts. Um, he was absolutely aggressive. He almost bit Glenn's arm if he could have, he would have bit Glenn's arm right off. So uh, that was a big no, especially because we, we have cats and we weren't going to take a chance on our cats being injured or killed by an aggressive dog. Um, and we didn't blame Ruger at all. It's more of his upbringing that we blame whatever that upbringing may have been with whoever it was. But nonetheless, we continued our search and uh, Glenn spotted Gypsy. Now, when he spotted Gypsy, her name at the, on the rescue site was Busy, like, uh, like a busybody. <laughs> and I guess they gave her that name because she was always a busybody. <laughs> So they named her Busy, but we changed her name to Gypsy. Uh, we inquired about her, and within a day or two, um, we set up a time to go visit with her. It was about three hours north of us in Wisconsin Rapids, I believe it was. So we took the three hour trek to go visit with Gypsy, and she she took to us ASAP, like right away. She was waiting at the garage door with her foster. And I walked up, she, she let out one bark um, and that was no big deal. But then I put my hand out just so she can sniff me and it was instant. So <laughs> she was ru soon rubbing her head on my hand for petting and <laughs> Yeah, so she took to us right away what we were a little bit of fear of because uh, Glenn is in a mobility scooter. Uh, we didn't know how she would react to that uh, as a disabled person. And she took to him right away. She came up to him and was rubbing her head on him and wanting to be petted. And <laughs> so she was very skinny when we got her as well. Um, so yeah, we visited for a while with her and uh, got to know her and we took her home that day so and we have a four-door truck so in the back seat we took we put down the back seat and so she has a whole flat spot there she can lay so we brought her home I think it was August 18th and so we brought her home and it went well and everything has been well and to be quite honest and I've said this um, when we adopted her we didn't just rescue her she rescued us uh, she filled such an emotional void in our life and she still does we couldn't imagine life without her or our kitties uh, we love we love all our fur babies to death so yeah, she is a bundle of joy. So, she's all tan. If you haven't seen her in any of the videos, I know I haven't put her in many of the videos lately, and I'll try to get her in there. 
but uh, she's all tan with a black snout. She's very playful and energetic. Um, in the house, she brings me the ball all the time, and we throw I throw the ball to her in the house all the time. She is so funny. And at first, the cats were a little skittish of her, but then they they just like accepted her as one of them. And uh, we have Blackie and Prissy. They're both older cats. They're from the same litter. But again, I'll tell you about them next week. And so, yeah, they're very playful with each other. And, you know, Prissy, of course, rules the house and rules Gypsy. <laughs> Gypsy likes to taunt her to get her to play. And she's an older, grumpy cat, so she doesn't want to play. But she'll chase them. Or she'll chase Gypsy. And <laughs> Gypsy will run from her. It's so funny to watch. But, uh, yeah, Gypsy's actually going to be two years old next month. April 5th, I believe, is her birthday. She'll be two years old. And then August 18th will be the two-year anniversary that we brought her home. And she is just a bundle of joy. She, yeah, we, uh, the first summer we got her, we were taking her for walks every single day. And then last summer, we didn't do it as much, but I'd like to get back to that this summer. Uh, we used to get up at five o'clock in the morning every single day and take her for a walk. We like to do it before the heat set on and early enough that we'd come home and we'd still, you know, it'd still be early enough. And so, yeah, and she loves to go for walks. She does that typical shepherd head tilt uh, you can either say go for a ride or go for a uh, go outside and her head would be tilting like crazy <laughs> it's, it's hilarious but sometimes I, I still can't believe she's ours and I often wonder what would have become of her if we didn't take her because she was actually on the rescue site for a long time and I don't know why because she she didn't come with health problems um, there no aggressiveness whatsoever and uh, yeah she's never tried to bite she barks at big trucks like UPS trucks mailman trucks FedEx trucks any big trucks that go by she barks at um, and people that she feels gets too close to our property uh, she barks through the window but that's typical of a dog and a shepherd you know, she's just guarding her property and her territory and her family. So, yeah, she does that. She does all the barking, but there's no aggressiveness to go with it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's the best move we ever made was to get her. And we named her Gypsy. <laughs> um... I think it was the day before or a couple days before we went and got her. We were trying to think of a name because we didn't want her to keep the name busy. And we wrote a bunch of names down and we did a process of elimination. And then the last two names, which was Gypsy. And I think, um, I don't know if it was Kaya. It was a, a Native American word for... Um, Oh, I forgot what it was. It was a it was a Native American name for uh, like a natural beauty type of person. I forgot what that that word was, but and Gypsy because Gypsy actually came from Texas. Uh, that shepherd site brings a lot of dogs from Texas. I think they bring them in a bus and they drive them down drive them up to Wisconsin and Gypsy was one of those that they brought up from Texas and when she was in Texas uh, she was found on the streets wandering uh, she was a I guess a, a homeless dog you might say and she roamed around and that's why we named we came up with, well, Glenn actually came up with the name Gypsy. 
because she roams a lot. She roamed a lot in her life. Uh, from wherever her first home was to the streets to from Texas to Wisconsin, um, she was she was a gypsy, and we Glenn thought that was a fitting name for her. So, so that's how she got named Gypsy. It came to Gypsy in one of the last the other names, and it was a it was a coin toss from there, and Gypsy won. So. I wanted the name Kaya, uh, just for what it meant, and Kaya sounds like a pretty name, but I'm good with Gypsy as well. And Gypsy sounded a lot like Busy, so it, it was easy enough for her to uh, relate to the name, because it sounded like Busy, and so soon enough she knew what her name was. So that's how we ended up with Gypsy. Um, three hour drive to go get her, three hours back, and it was, she didn't whine or anything. She, she just slept and was checking out the ride and, but, yeah, so that's, that's how Gypsy came into our lives. And, uh, the day before we went and got her, I went to PetSmart to get her, uh, her tags. Uh, I got her a dog bone tag, a red one, with her name on one side and our information on the other side, our, our phone numbers and her address and everything, so. Alright, so I am here at the pantry, and I'm going to shut you guys off right now and I will be back. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Oh, I already said that while I was driving. So <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the channel. So I just got out of the food pantry, the morning food pantry. So you'll have some food pantry hauls today. Um, and I just got to make a couple stops on the way home, get some more bread at Aldi. And uh, so yeah, um, I won't take you in again. You already saw that, but uh, yeah, that's all I got right now. <laughs> so stay tuned for some hauls and uh, yeah, let's move on with the day. All right, everyone. So I am leaving the pantry now. Uh, just had a nice long talk with uh, Leah, who's uh, the person who works in there. And uh, so yeah, we just had a chat and I actually am going to stop at a Dollar Tree right now because tomorrow I'll be making uh, Glenn his meatloaf. So, and I'm not going to make a whole bunch. I'm just going to use like one pound of ground beef. So I need to find a mini loaf pan. I don't need a regular size loaf pan. So I'm going to see if the Dollar Tree has something. And you know, of course, if I'm at the Dollar Tree, I've got to see what kind of crafting stuff they got there. <laughs> As if I haven't seen it before. These roads are so horrible. I don't know if you see that in the video. I guess I'll see when uh, I'm editing, but I think our town uh, has some of the worst roads there are. And they do quick fixes, so by a year later, they're crap again. But anyway... So I hope you enjoyed that story about Gypsy. And, uh... Glenn says she gets a little antsy. <laughs> When I've been gone too long, she starts whining at the door <laughs> for Mama. She's such a cutie. Then she gets all excited when I walk in the door. <laughs> but we do have an appointment to take Gypsy to the vet next Thursday. I will still go to the pantries. Her vet appointment is not until the afternoon. But Gypsy has a little bit of a hard swallow. Like, almost like she has trouble swallowing. Not all the time, not, 
90% of the time she's fine. Um, she eats fine, everything's normal, except we notice she has like a, a gulp in her swallow sometimes. So we just want to get that checked out and make sure everything is okay. Not that it gets worse and something comes back to uh, make her sick. So we don't want to take any chances with that. So this here is actually the south part of town. This is the south side. And we're almost at the Dollar Tree. So this shopping center here, where you see this uh, this uh, store right here, I'm pointing at Ashley. I think that's a furniture store. But when I first got here, that used to be our Kmart, and Kmart was there for years, and we were very sad to see it close. Yeah, so we actually had a Kmart here in town. I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and uh, park at Dollar Tree now. Alright. Do you guys want to go in with me? Okay, I'll take you in.
right, so we are going to leave Dollar Tree now, and I'm just going to go in the Aldi quick. So, I, like I said, you already been in there, so I won't take you in there this time. So I hope you guys don't mind that the videos are longer now, um, especially if I take you on a drive or take you in the stores. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind the long videos. I know for me, when I watch YouTube videos, I like long videos. It's almost like a TV show, you know, so, um, so yeah. If you don't, if you can't watch the whole video at one time, then just come back to it later or the next day. You know, and make sure you watch the ads, please. That's what uh, pays me. That's my revenue from YouTube is how much the ads are watched. And I understand sometimes they put really long ads on there, so I understand if you can't watch those. But, uh, and I have no control of what ads go on my videos. Uh, if you don't like certain ads, if they're skippable, skippable then skip through them. Uh, but I have no control of what ads they put on my videos or how long they are. So, so we used to have the option of putting skippable or non-skippable ads on there and now we don't have that option anymore. So whatever you see on the app, ads is out of my control. But I appreciate all of you that watch my ads. Um, it helps me out. It helps the channel. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, according to the analytics, I believe close to 50% of the folks that watch my videos are not subscribed. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Um, so please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It helps YouTube push my channel and comments thank you all for that i'm trying to get better at answering them but just know that i do read them um, so and i just wanted to answer a couple questions uh i'll use these driving moments to answer questions as well so if you have questions um, just throw them down there if i'm not going to drive for a few days then i'll just answer them but uh Somebody wanted to know what editing app I use, and I use CapCut. I'll put it down on the screen. Uh, it's a really good editor. It's free. There is a pro version, but I do not pay for, <laughs> I don't pay for anything. Um, I don't like to pay for uh, extras on the apps. So I use the free version. It, it suffices as to what I do. And I think it's probably one of the best apps, editing apps out there. You can do a lot in the free version. So CapCut is the app I use. And I don't like to edit on my laptop because it's not fast enough. So it throws the wording off to the mouth movement. So I use my tablet, Android tablet, to edit all my videos. And then uh, someone also asked if uh, we grew our own food. <laughs> so a couple of summers ago, I started a little garden in a kiddie pool. And we grew tomatoes and cucumbers and tried to grow jalapenos, but I, I damaged that one. And then last summer, uh, I did a garden, but it was way too late and we really didn't get anything out of it. So... I haven't done a good job at gardening, um, so we'll see what this summer brings. I don't, I don't like to say I'm going to do this, this, and this. So we'll see what this summer brings. As as my channel says, one day at a time. I just live one day at a time. Whatever today brings is what I'm dealing with. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn you guys off, and then I will see you at home. Alright everyone, so I am home from the food pantry, and I have the first haul of the day here. So let's get right into it. Uh, we'll start off with the meat here. We got two pounds of ground beef, 
So it changes from week to week. Last week we were only allowed to take one, which was fine. Like I said, it's always better than nothing. This week we were able to take two. So I always usually choose the two pounds of ground beef. Just because you can make so many different meals from it. Alright, over here we have two cans of tomato soup. And when I make tomato soup for us for lunch or something, I use two of the small cans. So, And then we got one can of green beans for Glenn. We got a jar of three cheese Prego pasta sauce. We've got buttery homestyle instant mashed potatoes. Those are always good. We've got a box of, and this is a one pound box of elbow macaroni. Uh, we use this quite a bit in the summer when we make uh, what I call a supper salad or it actually was called that with Glenn's side of the family but it's basically a macaroni salad um, so I use that for that and then a bo box of mac and cheese which you can make some hamburger and mac and cheese mix it together or whatever usually we do like hamburger patties and mac and cheese on the side got a box of crunch berries <laughs> those are for me I like crunch berries so and two more boxes of, of these rich crackers and I've never seen these before in a tube like this kind of like a Pringles tube but this is Cheetos minis and I love Cheetos so those should be good for me and pineapple tidbits I use these as I've said in the past I use pineapple on my pizza so whenever I make myself or make us pizza on my side I put pineapple on there and some denty more beef stew uh, if you've never tried denty more beef stew on top of white rice or I guess any rice for your whatever your taste is um, it's pretty good that way so so there's that and we got these small bags of planters peanuts uh, we got two cashews and uh, regular peanuts and honey roasted peanuts so good snacks and then for non food items got this uh, bottle of conditioner and more of these uh, wet, uh, basically body towels they're oversized body towels to take a shower I guess without getting in the shower so uh, got these I, I do use these and they are pretty good so and they got shea butter in them so those are pretty good alright so that's gonna do it for the morning food pantry haul in a little while I'll be going to the afternoon one so I'm just gonna put this stuff away and stay tuned for the afternoon haul Oh, I forgot to mention with uh, the ground beef, I'm going to use one of them tomorrow. And I'm going to be making Glenn's uh, meatloaf. And that's why I stopped at the Dollar Tree for these mini loaf pans. These are the real small ones. These aren't the regular size. Uh, I don't know what the size is, but uh, these are the mini. So one pound of meat will fit in that. That it, and I don't eat meatloaf so it's just going to be for Glenn I'll be eating something else some leftovers out of the freezer I already have an idea of what I'm going to eat alright so yeah he'll have that and I'll take care of the leftovers alright everyone so I just went to the afternoon pantry and came back to pick and save because if you recall in my grocery haul um, while I was driving I was talking but I talked about how we only got one pound of butter because it wasn't on sale and I knew the new sales came out on Wednesday so yesterday I looked and there was digital coupons for Lando Lakes butter a pound um, $2.99 a pound and you can get up to five so that's what I was hoping to see and so I came to pick and save after the pantry to pick up the five and also Pepsi products were on digital coupon for $2.99 a six pack so I grabbed those as well um, so yeah now I got my stock on butter that I wanted and now I'm good to go I picked up a couple more avocados because I already ate the other three I bought uh, I had one made guacamole with the burritos and then they are already going bad so I just ate the other two last night in a sandwich so <laughs> uh, but I won't be able to use them for burritos leftover burritos because they're not ripe yet so 
that's okay nonetheless I'm gonna go home it's raining out I'm kind of wet my feet are wet the rain going through my shoes so I'm gonna go home I don't know if I record the haul right now or later but nonetheless I might take a nap my body's just tired I just feel tired and my body's just telling me take a nap take a nap <laughs> so I gotta listen to my body gotta take a nap all right so I'm gonna head home and I'll see you there all right everyone so I am home from uh, the afternoon pantry and as I said I stopped at pick and save and I wanted to show you all the butter I picked up this is the reason I did not pick uh, stock up on butter when we when I did the earlier in the week grocery haul because I knew the sales were coming out today and yep struck it with the Lando Lakes digital coupon $2.99 a pound so you can get up to five so I've got all five of them so now I stocked up on butter all right so I just wanted to show you that before the pantry haul so this is not from the pantry we picked this up on a digital coupon all right so here is the afternoon food pantry haul uh, mostly produce dairy some toilet paper and meat so the reason I don't take a lot of canned goods from the afternoon pantry is because we get our canned goods from the morning food pantry if you watch uh, we always get like some kind of soups and veggies or fruits and and whatnot but we get a sufficient amount of canned goods from our morning pantry I only took one this time actually she kind of pushed it on me but <laughs> okay I'll take it they were trying to push some food out the door but I ended up just taking the one can of sliced pears all right other than that this is um, and even the, the ramen so you can see I got pears and two packs of chicken ramen I wasn't gonna take any soups either but she's oh how about this you want this take these I'll give you two of them <laughs> so I'm okay to put them in the bag but you can always find meals to use for that instead of just ramen you can add a meat to it some stir-fry veggies make it a whole meal all right, so let's go over the veggies we are, the produce we we got this week. Look at this, red potatoes. I have been waiting and waiting for red potatoes. And when I saw that, I was so happy. Now, Glenn doesn't like red potatoes, so I usually make that for my own meal, where I uh, pretty much cut them in little pieces, put some bacon in there, and some top it with cheese I put it in the oven well I don't put the cheese until it's pretty much done and some butter oh so good so delicious so I love me some red potatoes all right so we got that and we got three bananas just how I like them and <laughs> she even threw in all the rest of the oranges uh, they were almost closed by the time I got there so uh, she threw in five oranges <laughs> normally uh, I only get like two because there's two of us in the family and but she just kept throwing them in there <laughs> so they're so nice over there and uh, our weekly roll of toilet paper always good to get oh another dozen of eggs got a dozen of eggs there and got some pork chops Normally, again, I'm, I usually only get one pack because they have two in it. And with the size family, two, we usually only get the one pack of two, which is great. Um, and then she says, oh, it's late. I'm going to just give you another one. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we were blessed today. Well, we're always blessed when we get food from the pantry. and uh, But we have extra blessings that they blessed us with. So that's great. All right, so that is the afternoon food pantry haul. And that's going to do it for this video. As I said uh, before I left Pick and Save, uh, I think I'm going to take that nap now. But I want to go ahead and close out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate all of you and the support you show my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, share, like, and let anybody you know, uh, if you think they might enjoy the channel, um, share it with them. So 
All right, with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.